Hey guys, hi, good morning. I'm eating akara. Hmm? I'm living the life y'all wish you could live though. <laughs> but I have an issue. I can't work out the complain on social media because now so many power stop. This life, all man get power. <laughs> Me and my men are power on social media. <laughs> Guys, price control. Has that affected you yet? Price control issues, man. Price control. You see this Akara I used to buy on one block. Now I'm at three for 10,000. That's not cool. Price control is a problem. Pamin cream, I sent for go buy pamin cream this morning. I usually they buy pamin cream. I think the latest we buy now be 65,000, eh? Today, they say 100,000. That's like 35,000 on top. That is not cool. Braid. The braid over the buy you know that normal braid then they sell at 1000 then they go one five but at least they shame pad and save so then candle again to 1000 but let me tell you there is another braid when not that ball ball braid that sweet braid then they sell 6000 when me they eat it's now 8000 but now let me tell you the one way really 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 money me way choke me na my neck by this price control issues now the cement um, I don't they work on a project for the past three months. Where I start for work on the project, we be the buy cement for sixty five thousand. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, seventy five thousand. Let me be honest. Now three months to today, today now we are buy cement today. It's one hundred and twenty thousand, and this is just in three months period. Cement went from seventy five thousand to one hundred and twenty thousand. And I promise you, before they say another three months, they go don't go to either 150 or 200,000. You know why it's so bad where the price they go up so far things them? It's because the people in salary you know they change. Like if somebody they get a minimum wage of 500,000, let's say even 1 million, but you know your responsibility then still stay the, stay the same. And then the prices then they change and then keep they go up, but your salary you know they go up. What thing then they make you? It means you will become poor because you will not be able to afford your life. So price control is such a big deal. And I don't know why nobody is paying attention to that. Feel, feel now is 100,000 for, no, 10,000 for liter, right? So now when you buy 20 liter, it's 200,000. Do you remember when it was like 90,000 or something? Like, I don't even remember anymore, but now we had to buy 40 liter, which I can buy. I can buy 40 liter at a time, right? Now I pay 400,000 for 40 liter. It's like somebody has to pay attention. Do you know how you take care of citizens? You pay attention to the bills that they pay because some of we, we they work for we money them, we they do honest living, we know they thief, we know they beg from people, we know they go label them. We really able for work and make we own money and live on we money. But if life keeps becoming expensive in the country, but the money what would they make monthly, not they add, what in they go live to? Not only they lead to where someone go begin new things where you're not supposed to do to, um, for money, even it leads to corruption in small, small areas. Forget even for say the political corruption. That one day on the middle name. But even we for we where they work in a small, 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 small sectors and where they affect people and lives them on a daily basis. If me expenses they go up, but the money where are they make now they go up. Waiting happen, I they pull the one match for the people them. I begin ask them for more money. I begin charge them more. And then you make the poor people they even suffer some more. So I have wanted to talk about this for more than for months now. Actually, since the cement we go hundred thousand, I've been decided to talk about this, but I don't really get the right moment. And now, as I'm talking to you, that is like hundred and twenty thousand for cement. It is not fair to us. And then you go still go ahead and say salon people there will not be lost now. We can't see. But are you one the ordinary boy or the ordinary guy who just they make small small thing? We go don't go even they don't buy in land for like with structure. If it's so expensive, because you go start the project with a budget, but before you get in the middle of the project, the budget don't skyrocketed. So your house will be left unfinished. You know, go ever able for finish that house day. And then society go say, oh, all this also unfinished house then at the country. And the reality is you will never, ever be able to finish that house. You know why? Because the prices only go up. They do not come down. So this is me. I am so concerned for myself and every other citizen. Like... The people who are in charge of price control, they really need to look into that because we are suffering. We are absolutely suffering. Everything that I'm telling you right now is legit. I lived it. 
I they live in this country, everything is so expensive. It is so hard. It makes the country so difficult. And the people away then they sell, if nobody really monitor them, they're just gonna keep raise, right, um, raising the price. And I don't know what they look after to raise the price, if not because maybe the sheep or the cow's property them, and then they charge more. Or I really don't know how this works. What I know is I am a consumer. And from my own end, I am really suffering the change of prices and it just keep going up. You know, they can't do it. Like the price is so erratical, but, in a, but it never really comes down. It only goes up, which is really bad for we where they purchase in them. So we really need to look into price control because if we salary it and they go up and the price in the country they go up, it means we're becoming poorer and poorer by the day. We will not be able to afford our life to live comfortably. So we really, really need to look into price control. And this is one way you can take care of citizens in any country is to take care of, um, you know, the way they spend their money, not to say, come and pay my bills for me, no. But to say, just understand that the bills that I'm paying, it's getting too much, and the money that I'm making is not so much. So if, like, the body or the government or the people that were there in charge, they really want for little Felix, say, we've been taken care of, and they really care for us, let them look into with small, small spending. Let them look into with spending them, because they are going up, and we are feeling like we don't have money to live this life. And we have to live comfortable. And I am one person who, don't, who does not... Um, who does not say help the beggars, help the this, help the dad, because I look at it as everybody needs to work and make their own money and make their living. But if things keep going up, we will all turn beggars down at this country, because literally we will all turn beggars. If your salary is not enough, you, Usa, you get people then where you say they pay, or people the way they can pay you for something, you go begin charge them more. So at the end of the day, the way price go up, whether you're poor or you're rich, we will all suffer. It is really a matter of we will all suffer. It is just that the people that wouldn't get upper hand and get business, then we just ask for more money. I'm talking about price control. What's your problem? What? What? I'm, I want, I'm talking about price control. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I finish? There's a 35 million AC down there. He comes with a fucking van which has blocks inside. You want to lay it down and spoil it? Can I be done if with you this? Give me money for the AC. Because this is I am going to talk to them. I've not been there yet. Can I come there later? I'm talking about price control. Thank you. Yeah, so basically, I really want people to look into this. Like, it is serious and it's not funny. And it make we, when our average life, we live on not wealthy like that, we they suffer. And you really need to look at the young, young people and when they try to build their life, they now and then future them. And look into things then, what will they use for building the future and relive them. And just like adjust that, let it not be so expensive. Like this cement thing is so, then you don't give up. It is not really a matter of giving up, it's a matter of you cannot afford it. Because when you decided to three months ago, you had a budget that you're going to deal with, and now it's like three months later, and it's three times the budget. And you can never afford this because in that three months, your salary has not really been increased. So you're still working on the same salary but higher budget. So, like for me, I know the citizen of Sierra Leone will all appreciate that. If really they can handle this price control and then they for just bully with our prices then a salon. Because the little thing as sugar, where they see say where sugar, where the price control for sugar go up. For you when not they eat sugar so much, you not see no more you they drink, it might not bother you. But for the person where they sell pap, or we get for make rest cake where they use sugar, or we get for sell ginger beer, it really the money them and listen, these are the people that we really need to think about. The people that are selling the ginger beer, the pap, the small, 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 small things, because they are the ones who are living the toughest life in Sierra Leone. But to say, I'm going to sell ginger beer or kool -Aid, instead I go big, it takes so much pride, integrity, and respect for themselves. So if things really keep going up, you're taking that little respect that they have for themselves. They will end up having to beg. You know, you will take their independence away just because the price are moving. So I would like to say, I am not the type to ever blame government for anything because I am so independent-minded. And in my own corner as a Sierra Union, I know that I am capable of doing absolutely anything. So to say I blame government is not my style. But this one I will have to say, the big one then, now when I really get for work on this price control matter, let me help you because it's ridiculous. And I know some people that are doing business, they are actually taking the peace because they know say the authorities, they know they look out for the price control. But let's say you're not a minister or you're not a big, big business person, you know, we really know so much. This price control may not affect you, but for we, the small, small people, they really they affect you. And that's why I'm saying, this is why you have to look after the citizen of the country. 
price control skyrocketing every day, every day. Is she not caring so much for the people of the country and their financial status? And we all know right now it's really not easy. So me, I just really want, let, like, honestly, let's, let's look after price control. You know, let's look after price control. Let's see what we can do. Because this is ridiculous now. It is really ridiculous. It's never going to go down. And I know I keep repeating myself, but that's because I am still talking. I don't want to stop talking because I feel like, you know, I need to make my point. But I think I've made my point. Price control, please, let's handle that. Like, that's the way you could look after your citizen. Like, even for this politician, that's how you could look after your citizen. So wait and wait for vote. You tell them, go and vote for me. I was taking care of your price control. Or if things they go up, things they go up. No more time reach for vote. You say go and vote for me. Eh, fuka fuka bimbe. That's no more go and vote. Do you get? So it's like it's that kind of game you can play with us. Just take care of us. Like some of us, we don't care about anything. We only care about our country and the growth of our country and who is helping us and our country. Trust me, that's all we care about. We don't care about anything. Absolutely not. We do not care about that. So take care of us. Take care of our country our people in our country and see when you need us it will not come through for you but if you don't take care of us i'm afraid though price is going up our temper will be going up i'm just saying let me not over talk yeah, guys no. see me cake i used to buy it one thousand now it's three for ten thousand from nene we didn't do even nene they add price hey nene <laughs> please now help me thank you so much Love you guys. Okay.